Hours, big paychecks and little oversight. New recordings shed light on the operations of Mayor Cantrell's security detail. But thousands of pages of documents and hours of security camera video previously obtained by Fox 8 show discrepancies between what a former member of Mayor Cantrell's security team told NOPD investigators and the hours he clocked. Here's Lee Zurich's new outside the office investigation. According to NOPD officer Jeffrey Vappi, he had one boss. Who did you actually report to? Who was your person like in charge? Uh, the mayor. The mayor? Yes. Did you report to anyone else? Did you have any supervision, other supervisors? No, the, no. The only other supervision was a sergeant who did the time. That Sergeant Takashiba Hart, the employee responsible for approving timesheets. But this wasn't a typical NOPD approval process. Talk to me about how that worked. So uh, the ISB Sergeant Takashiba Lane, uh, we would write down our times and, and turn them into her. How did, she, how did you give them to her? I gave them to her via a text. A text to an NOPD sergeant. She entered the hours, and with no other oversight, the members of the mayor's security team get paid. Okay, so you should talk her into your time. She received a text from you. All right. During her time frame, during that time frame, did she ever question your time at all? No, she, uh, she never questioned it. That's because apparently she wasn't aware of the mayor's schedule and the hours assigned to each officer. Were you privy to any of the mayor's itinerary? No, sir. Did you ever speak with her uh, person who does her schedule? No, I do not. All right. Uh, let me ask, where's your office located? Uh, police headquarters, fourth floor. Where is the executive protection specifically for the mayor uh, office located? Uh, second floor of City Hall. Do you ever see them on a daily basis? No, I do not. Our stories on Vappi have questioned his timesheets and a review of more than four hours of audio recordings from an internal investigation raise even more questions about the oversight and timekeeping of the mayor's executive protection team. Members of the security team say they worked five days a week, four 12-hour days, and one that lasted eight hours and 35 minutes. What days would you work 12 hours? All days except Wednesday. I'm good with that. All days except Wednesday. Mm -hmm. So I'm working 12. Wednesday, what would you work? Uh, Wednesday would be, depending on if we were early shift or the late shift, it would be 6 to 3, something like that. So would it be like an 8 hour, 8 yeah, and a half hour? Wednesday was a split. It was the 8. Okay. So was it 8 or 8.25? And, and all the reason I asked, so for clarification, 8.35, should I say, yeah. is that uh, regular officers on the street while working eight hours usually work 8.35. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if y'all were 8 or 8.35. I, I would assume it would be the 8.35. 35. I would assume because the time was put in by the sergeant. But in August of last year, Vappi worked just two eight-hour days. Look at Wednesday, August 31st. Remember, according to Vappi, it should be an eight-hour day for all four security members. But Vappi and Luis Martinez worked 12 hours. Robert Monlin and Charles Ellis, eight. The mayor only had three meetings on her schedule. The first at 11 a.m., the last ended at 6. On a day, according to Vappi, he should have worked eight hours. Instead, taxpayers paid him for 12. Part of that time on the clock, he spent in the balcony of the city's Upper Pantaba apartment. Apparently, the work schedule of the mayor's executive protection team changed around the time Vappi joined it. Vappi came on about a year after longtime officer Wandell Smith left the executive protection team. Smith was the supervisor of the detail. Here's how he described the work schedule during his nearly two decades on the executive protection team. So I know when you talked about Ms. Landrew mm -hmm. and uh, Mayor Cattrall, you said y'all never traveled with her. Right. When the mayor was out of town, mm -hmm. not here, away mm -hmm. from the city, and you guys didn't travel, right. how many hours did y'all work there? Basic hours, 8 hours and 35 minutes. No. Was there ever a time where you worked 12 hours? No. No. No reason to. In September of last year, on each day Vappi worked, he never worked fewer than 12 hours, 21 days on the clock, billing taxpayers for 12 hours or more of work. If there was a time that your payroll mm -hmm. was over 16 hours and 35 minutes mm -hmm. entered, okay. you were traveling. 
Yes. If there was a time that your payroll mm -hmm. was over 16 hours and 35 minutes and you were not traveling, would that payroll be accurate or incorrect? That would be incorrect. So you would never have, you should never have been paid for anything over 12 hours when you were not traveling. Correct. But that doesn't appear to be true. In 2022, we reviewed days VAPI provided protection in New Orleans and found VAPI billed taxpayers for more than 12 hours of work, 45 different days. Another example in September of 2021, every day that VAPI worked except for one, he clocked 12 hours or more. On one day, he billed taxpayers for 17 hours, the next 22. The mayor wasn't traveling either of those days. In fact, on the day he clocked 17 hours, September 19th, Cantrell's schedule doesn't have a single thing on it, only listing all day New Orleans. According to a former security officer, that never happened until Vappi joined the executive protection team. What about the normal, like, 16-hour day? Did y'all have that? Oh, very few 16-hour days. I tell you, the Mardi Gras, came to 16 hours. How about that? Right. That Mardi Gras day, stuff like that, you know. So it would be, would you say it's unusual for any executive protection to have in one week? And let's say you got seven days in a week mm -hmm. to work more than four days in that week for 16 hours? Hell yeah, unless you was on a trip. Robert Modlin was paired with Vappi on the mayor's security team. He says his work schedule didn't change after Vappi joined. So y'all kind of respected the fact that he had been doing the work for a long time. Uh, so once Vappi arrived, uh, what was your day like then? Did the schedule change? I mean, did the work itself change or anything like that? Uh, I mean, it, same same hours. Uh, some. I mean, I would think. Uh, I'd say she probably start just doing doing different stuff. Like what? Give me like like we never. She's never exercised before. Mm -hmm. So sure. she started. She started exercising. But, I mean, the uh, schedule is still the same. Vappi spent long hours inside the Pantaba apartment, one night leaving at 1 in the morning. Has it ever been a time that you went to the Pantaba apartment when you were not at work? Hell no. I didn't hear you. No. Okay. No, what did you say? I, didn't... I said hell no. As partners, Vappi said he and Monlin had a similar schedule. Robert Monlin was your partner, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. Should Robert Marlin time other than travel mimic your time? Yes. But we found several days when their schedules didn't match. Like a September 2021 trip, they both took with the mayor to Alabama for the funeral for a family member. Records show the funeral started at 11 a.m., but that morning Monlin went on the clock at 8 a.m., Vappy an hour earlier at 7. They didn't work the same schedule, and there's no explanation why Vappy went on the clock early. Another example, Saturday, February 5th of last year, the mayor had two events in her calendar, a Nord event and a dinner. The Nord event started at 11.30, but both Monlin and Vappy went on the clock at 7 a.m. While Monlin worked a 12-hour shift, Vappy stayed on the clock three hours later until 10 p.m. The officers interviewed by NOPD investigators were at times guarded, but one officer who worked with Vappi said Vappi needs to find another job in the force because of his actions while the mayor was outside the office. Do you feel like he should come back? I don't think so, no. Why not? It's a bad look. What do you mean a bad look? Just look bad. To who? To you? To everybody. And that was Lee Zurich reporting tomorrow night on Fox 8. Hear from former members of Cantrell's executive protection team who say they were sometimes treated like personal assistants instead of security.